Now we have a heading of north and a selected course of north to the VOR, just like before. Now though, you can see the course deviation indicator is showing a... a uh, course deviation indication. The deviation is increasing, as can be seen by the needle swinging out further and further. If we wanted to maintain the nice northbound track to the VOR, the wind has definitely urinated on our favourite corn-based breakfast cereal. We need to establish a heading that will counteract the wind drift. This will get all you magenta liners all worked up. This is an analog E6B. So we set the wind direction at the top, which is 270. Mark the wind. The instructions say to mark the wind up from the reference grommet here. So we'll go up 30 knots from the 100 that the grommet is currently sat on. Spin the wheel round to the required ground track. Slide the speed card so our wind dot sits on the true airspeed, which is about 112 knots. The dot has swung out about 15 degrees to the left, requiring a 15 degree left heading correction. The ground speed can be read from the grommet around 109 knots. So we can set a heading of 345, and that should hopefully maintain the aircraft on the northbound course to the VOR station. 